Introducing to you Sky Hills Master Plan Community. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm going to be talking about a new master plan community in the Northwest part of the Valley called Sky Hills. I'm sure you guys have heard some things about Sky Hills. I'm sure you've seen videos on realtors doing, um, you know, tours, model home tours of Sky Hills. I was meaning to do this video a long time ago before all the models open. However, you know, life business, just got busy so now I have the time to just actually tell you what Sky Hills is but before we get started on that make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so Sky Hills is in the Northwest region it's actually right next to Providence facing or just butt up against the mountain it's right there it's it's kind of close to Sky Canyon and but it's really ultimately next to Providence, which is another master plan community. It's around 270 acres and they plan to have about 1600 homes in this little master plan community. Now this master plan community is not going to really have any amenities that I know of. I didn't see anywhere that where there's a park or any other facilities. It just depends. Now, um, there are two builders in this community. Some people think that Summerston Ranch and Ridge by Richmond American is part of the Sky Hills master plan community, but technically is not. However, it's like right above those two communities. So people may think that it is part of it. I could be confused, but anytime I Google um, Sky Hills master plan community or Sky Hills, uh, the only builders that pop up for me is Pulte Homes and Beezer Homes. So if I'm wrong, leave a comment down below let me know why i'm wrong and why those richmond american communities is part of sky hills so like i said there are two builders in sky hills which is pulte and pulte has two communities there you have the val ridge and the val ridge um homes are priced from the 500s these are bigger homes and they have three two-story floor plans to choose from you have the Palermo, which is a very popular model. They had that one actually at the Starling community in Stonebridge Village in Summerlin. So the Palermo is around 2806 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half to four bathrooms, and a three car garage. Then you have the San Remo, which was also in Starling, Stonebridge Village, Summerlin. And that's approximately 3104 square feet, four to six bedrooms two and a half to five and a half bathrooms and a three car garage. And the last is the Tavili, and that's approximately 3440 square feet, um, four to five bedrooms, three and a half to five, four and a half bathrooms and a three car garage. So I don't know what the HOA is. I don't know what the SIDS are. I'm just here to tell you that there's new construction and there's a new uh, master plan community. Um, I do believe this is gated. Yes, this one is gated as well. So then you have the Talvona um, by Pulte Homes, and these are single story homes, and they actually have six floor plans to choose from. And this is also, I do believe, gated. Yep, gated, and they're priced in the high 400. So these prices are very good especially for right now starting in the 400s it's very hard to find anything by Pulte or Toll Brothers in this price range um, so the six floor plans you have the brownstone which is around 1579 plus square feet two to three bedrooms two to two and a half bathrooms and a two car garage then you have the Bella Wood and that's approximately 1865 square feet two to three bedrooms two baths two car garage then you have the Tifton Walk, which was around 1920 square feet with two to three bedrooms, two to two and a half bathrooms and two car garage. Then you have the Stella, which is approximately 2191 square feet, three to four beds and let's see, two to three bathrooms and a two car garage. Then you have the Garden Gate, which is another Stella Garden Gate and Park Lane are one of the most popular single story floor plans that Pulte has. But the Garden Gate has approximately 2,294 square feet, three to four bedrooms, 
two to three and a half bathrooms and a three car garage. Then you also have Park Lane, which is one of the most popular floor plans by Pulte, single story. And this one's 2462 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms and a three car garage. So that is it for the two Pulte homes in Sky Hills. Then we're gonna have Beezer that also has two communities in Beezer. You have the, what do we have? The Sage Point and then the Sage Reserves. So the Sage Point, there's gonna be four two-story floor plans to choose from and prices are in the high 400s. You have the Mesquite model, which is around 20, 34 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, two car garage. Then you have the Sedona around 2279 square feet, three to four bedrooms and two and a half baths, two car garage. And then the Valencia, which is around 2532 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two car garage. And last is the Sequoia, which is around 2719 square feet, five beds, three and a half baths and two car garage. So then we go to the Sage Reserve, which um, offers more single story options with one two-story floor plan, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they didn't make it all single-story floor plans. And these are starting from the low 500s, which is kind of interesting because Sage Point starting in the low high 400s and then Sage Reserves is starting in the low 500s. There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five different floor plans to choose from. You have the Willow, which is a single-story home, 1750 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, two car garage. All of these have two car garages, so I'm not gonna say it. Then you have the Summit, single story, 2021 20, square feet with four bedrooms, two to three bathrooms. Then you have the Zion, again, single story, 2193 square feet with three to four bedrooms and two and a half to three bathrooms. Then you have the Everett, single story, around 2544 square feet with three to four bedrooms and two and a half to three bathrooms. And lastly, the sink, the two-story home that's in this collection is a summer set um, and it's around 3179 square feet with five bedrooms, three and a half to four and a half bathrooms and a two-car garage. So that wraps up this new master plan community in the Northwest uh, Sky Hills. And if there's any information that I missed about Sky Hills, please leave a comment down below. Um, I'd love to know if I missed anything and if those two Richmond American communities are part of Sky Hills. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. I'm not always right. <laughs> but if you're thinking about buying new construction, I say this in all my videos, it's important to always make sure that you bring your real estate agent with you on your very first visit. If you want to go look at the models, just leave a fake name or just say that you don't want to register because you want to bring your real estate agent with you. Otherwise, if you do register with your name and your agent's not there on the very first visit, they will not be able to represent you. And it's very important. And I go over this many times in all my videos, why it's important to have a real estate agent represent you when you're buying new construction. It's also important to hire a real estate agent that has experience selling new construction uh, to help you guide you through that entire process. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, you know, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.